Hi everyone, Fabian here. Um, what we're going to be doing today is showing you some learnings that I've done over this holiday season. I've actually written it down <laughs> so I don't go too much off script. Um, but basically, I am spending some time learning about Llama 3.3 70B. And I am going to show you some examples of things that I thought I knew that I didn't. Things that I found out along the way. And um, you know, share that with you as a belated Christmas holiday um, gift so that you can have as well. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is show you what I'm working with. So, oh, oh, Llama list. And as you can see here, we have the Llama 3.3 model um, downloaded locally. We also have something we're using before, which is the Llama 3.170B. We also have 5.3.14B, which I think is a newer one now, but then it's not using it, and Reflections that was out there for a while. Um, we should also note that this machine is a um, Apple MacBook Pro um, M3 Max with 128 gigabytes of memory and 40 cores of GPU, so we can run these local model quite efficiently. Um, you should also know that the repo that I'm going to be using as an example is available here under Fabian Williams Lux Mantis. Um, one example that I'm going to be showing you, the one with Llama 3, is under this guy here, under .NET POCs, and um, one with Microsoft Graph that I'm going to do is located here as well using um, the OpenAPI spec. Um, the next thing to show you is that with this, um, we're going to be running this with a persona of Ada Advanced because what we're going to be doing is going to require permissions. You can see using Microsoft Graph Explorer, under the context API, we have, and let me just click refresh again, we have a contact in here called Kaiser Sose, so on and so forth. So um, that's available for you there. All right, so the first example that we're going to do, um, and what we're going to be aiming here to prove or to demonstrate is that one, um, not all models um, are equal in terms of what they say um, and also that Llama 3.370B is definitely faster and provides a better responses than um, previous models. They actually say that it's much better than the um, Llama 3.1405B um, which is uh, Fortune 5 um, billion parameters so um, quite well. So I'm going to do a couple different um, examples. One is showing you 3.3 which is what's there right now and actually, I'm going to show you the one with Microsoft Graph first because that'll make more sense. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to use the Microsoft Graph uh, as an endpoint in order to get information about that contact. And we're going to use um, just natural language to reason over the Open API spec, which will make the call for you based on the logged on user. We're going to try and do this with um, the local model first. As you can see here, we're going to try the 3.3 latest um, and we're going to run that. And as it goes, I'll just talk through it. So let's um, do the clear here. Make sure we've saved this, save all. And we're going to do a .NET run. Um, as I said, this is going to require login. So we're going to be using device code off. So control C. And we're going to go over here to Adel, and we're going to go to here, device code off, control V, click next. Oh, not that. Click next. Click here. Sign in. Say yes. And now that we're signed in, this will run this prompt, which is what you see here. And we're going to see what comes back. Now, this is trying to run it with um, the local model. You can see the GPUs are spinning up. And um, it's going to come back with a result. Not ex I've already done this before, so it's not what we're going to expect to see. Um, and you can see the length of time it's taken. I'm actually going to not edit this time, so you can actually see um, you know, that the model is... Um, churning away here locally. You can see it's spinning up on those GPUs and it'll come back and give us 
pardon me, some kind of nondescript um, answer. All right, in the meantime, um, what I mean by um, not all models are equal is that this model is said to be able to do um, uh, to calling or function calling. Um, <clears throat> And I thought it didn't, first of all, because um, it didn't give me the proper um, response back, um, as I would expect it to. And in doing some research earlier, um, they said that maybe the reason is because it doesn't support function calling. But had I had done my own research, I would have seen that it should. Um, um, but um, I did afterwards and realized that it does do function calling, which is why another demo I'm going to show you is actually it doing function calling and work working, whereas this one is not. Um, I can hear the fans spinning up now. Um, I expect to get back an answer soon. But you can see it's been going now, I think maybe, maybe almost a minute now. But this later we'll probably do a couple of retries before it comes back. And uh, should have done system audio so you can actually hear this fan. Maybe you can hear it in the background, however. But it's really, really kicking on now. But nothing's coming back yet. Quite some time. Maybe I'll speed this up during the yeah. There it is, actually. So what it did, um, as you can see here, it comes back and it says, you know, the provided text is adjacent object. And what it's doing is trying to interpret what it should have done, which is really great in and of itself. It understood that it should go get the context API. It understood that it should create this, um, but it's giving me the information that I should use in order to do the, the call myself. What I'm going to do now, actually, this demonstrates the fact that the three dot um, three actually yeah, is pretty powerful, right? But the fact that it knows how to do that is really good. Let's come here and comment this out and do it with the three dot one. I'll save this. And run it again, and because you know we're trying to show that clear. we're trying to show that um, let's see this again, that not all prompts, not all models are equal, right? So clear and dot net run one more time. I'm gonna need to do this again. Control C. Come over here. I think it's helpful that we actually see this. You know, just taking my word for it. Right, Logged in again. This one may come back a little bit faster. I think it, it, it usually will come back faster and just tell us that it's it ain't gonna work. Um, but we will see again. GPUs are all spun down, so it hasn't really gotten there yet. Once it's once it makes the model call locally, it should start to there it is. So we can see all three um, have spiked. Um, and uh, just going through the process again, trying to get to the graph call itself. Once we finish this, and notice by the way, it didn't tell us anything about um, you know function calling not being available, which is why I thought that um, something was kind of off because it didn't tell me that it doesn't support function calling. It just gave me some weird errors when I did it in um, three dot. Um, in 3.170b. Yeah, this part I may just speed up in post production. It makes sense for you to sit through all of this again, but it does take some time. Fan hasn't spun up as yet, by the way. But the next example, I'm actually going to do it with the phi, um, and I can do it quickly with the reflections as well. And you'll notice that that one actually does tell you that function is not supported, which is what I would have expected to see. All right, still going. Still going. Um, what I can do here, just to you know, so that we're just not looking at dead space, is I can tell you also that um, I found out the reason why this is the case. Um, and um, it's actually some of the stuff that I'm actually doing at work as well too, um, trying to get better responses for um, a feature that I'm going to be shipping. Um, the Microsoft Graph, as well as other APIs that are um, complex in nature, 
um, we, while we do offer an open API spec that describes all of the um, endpoints and the functions that are there, um, a lot of these calls um, either will have parameters that it needs to take, or it also will have, um, and there we go, actually, it's giving roughly the same response as the other one. The, I will tell you that this is not something that I saw before, so maybe they've just improved on the model before, but it threw me a non script But we can see here that this one also doesn't give that, uh, that answer. So let's come here, and actually I'm, I'm going to do the 5.3 now. So, and what you're going to notice here is um, clear .net run. And it does try to off. But this is going to come back really, really, really quickly. So we come here, we do this, control V. Again, again, again. And we can see here it says fail. Um, 5314B does not support tools. I'm not supporting tools, it means that it does not support function call. So that's what I expected to see. Let's go back. Let's actually now come to here. And what we're going to do now is we're going to actually run this. We come here. We're going to run this with um, GPT. So we're going to use um, GPT 4.0 now, roughly the same thing. That's the only thing I'm going to change in this code, as you can see here. We're going to clear this. And we're going to... Double check again. Dot, dot, run. And same thing again. Control C. And come here. And device code off. Control V. We're going to click on that. And now we're logged in. And let's just move this up a little bit so you can actually see. You can actually see. What's that? Ah, that's weird. Um, it should actually come back. Um, let's do that one more time. It's actually good you saw that because these things are not non deterministic. So <laughs> I've seen it work before, but now this time it actually came back and said something about. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's because of my prompt. I think I was fitting with the prompt, but let's see what happens this time. Okay. There it is. Okay. So you notice before it told us, you know, who do you want? But this time, actually, by asking us again, it comes back with cars resources. And notice it has an email address. And if you just to double check the work, if you come here on the Graph Explorer, we see that it is the same email address here. So we know that this actually came from Microsoft Graph. So you notice how fast that one came back using on um, GPT-40, um, again, as opposed to using the model. We're the only thing that we change in the model, and this model does support function calling. So why show you all of that, right? If I come here and minimize this and actually take a look at this one, here is a, um, an example that's calling the weather API. So we have this basically here, that's actually um, we're going to call out to the weather API. It's another API. It does do function calling, but everything here is actually inside um, the query string as um, query parameters. So it's an easy API to understand. Um, and we have another plugin here as well, just for the local time. So it, when we get the weather, it understands it's the weather for today. So we have two functions here. And we're also doing something that's called auto invoke function calling. So basically, the, um, the tool itself is going to um that's the streaming the tool itself is going to decide what function to call based on um the prompt um that is that is being sent and um here it is right here auto invoke kernel functions which is a tool called behavior and the temperature is zero meaning that just give me back the answer don't become creative and we're also using semantic kernel for this as well and we um we're laddering up agents as you can see here we have a check completion agent and the, uh, the idea here is that you can have multiple agents so i can have an agent for the weather and an agent for um local time an agent for this an agent for that and they can all communicate um, um and work and we've loaded the plugins here so so right, what we're going to demonstrate here is the fact that the same um the same model the 3.3 
will work. Um, so let's go ahead and move this up a little bit. And um, in fact, I tell you what, let's do this. Let's come back over here and do the 14B so you can actually see that it won't work here. This is five to save all, and we'll do um, dot net run. All right. Um, what is the time? No, no, no. So what is the weather in Baltimore? All right. There it is. It does not support two calls. Okay. So we'll just do a quit right now, and we we'll come over here. And let's do a clear again. Let's come over here now and do. Um, this guy. All right, so three dot three dot net. All right, and I'll say what is the weather in in Baltimore. All right, and I'm going to show you something as well to notice the response when it comes back. You're going to see a blip, and then it's going to it's going to basically um uh stream the rest of the answer. And that's something that I found quite strange, and I'll explain why <laughs> why it's that way. Because if you do look at the code that I have, you may say, "Why? Why is he doing that?" It's to prove a point. So if you do auto invoke um, kernel functions, the way this works is that it it um and there it is. Now you can see it's streaming, right? So it, and, and it does that, and I'll explain why. So if you do auto invoke kernel function, you, um, what it does initially is it it um, finds the function, it runs, it executes, and it comes back. If you call a function directly, um, it'll um, it'll in the synthesis of creating a response, it'll come back and it'll stream. So even though I have um invoke prompt streaming async for the kernel to reply um you know to return information coming back it doesn't do it so what i've actually done creatively is to return everything and then i have an, a second call for the streaming that um, as you can see invoke prompt async invoke prompt streaming async so one does a call and one comes back with the other one so um that i i, I wanted to see the streaming work and i couldn't figure out why it wasn't working and that's the reason why. So it blips for everything, then boop, 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 just to show that reason. And I found out that's the reason why, because semantic kernel, when it does auto invoke um, kernel functions, um, it own, it returns everything as one. It doesn't stream the information coming back. On if you wanted to have streaming, you have to call the function directly. But that would go against what I'm trying to do, which is have it decide which function to call. Because if I come here and say, "What is the time?" Um, you know, it's you know again. The prompt is determining which function to call. So in this instance, it should just come back. You see, it takes the time. There it is. Um, the assembly 26, 1120, and you can see up here it's 1120, and it comes up. You know, what would you like to discuss afterwards? You know, streaming. So nothing. So um, today, what you've learned is um, that not all, not all um, function calling is equal. Um, Function calling is working here in this 3.370B, but only on APIs that are not as complex as something like the Microsoft Graph API that um, takes in um, uh, nested properties, has query parameters, does filter. And you know what you should understand as well, too, is that we're not coding this. What, what we're doing here is, um, if, especially for the graph one, what we're doing is we're using an open API specification in order to. Um, to decide what to call, so it, it it's literally figuring out which um, APIs to call and um, how to structure it. So we're not hard coding um, um, anything here. So that's the reason why the LLM um, is trying to figure it out and may meet into errors because we're just telling it, hey, here's the API structure, go figure it out. Um, so that's it for today. Um, happy holidays. Hopefully you don't go through the same um, length of time that it took me to figure this out.